fast as you can get them down, we're bringing them right back up. <laughs> Targeted CC on candy worm. There it is. Proof in the pudding. We got some crabbies. We got some crabbies, yeah! yeah. What's up, addicts, and welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Before we get today's video kicked off, Marlon called me down to the shop to show me all the products for the brand new limited edition 4th of July drop. So let's get inside, check out these new clothes. Product number one, one that I've been asking for all the time, tank top. Let's put it on. Fits great. Nice and lightweight for summertime. And of course, patriotic is F. It's probably my favorite product of all. The half zip, swim breaker. Perfect for summertime when you just need something for the morning, something to keep that morning dew off and get you into the river. That is sick. And they are waterproof too, light waterproofing. Now it's obviously not gonna be like a Sims jacket, but they are waterproof wow. and they are really, really nice quality. Also addicts, we got the American flag shirt. Turned out really sick. We did the design a little bit different this time with just the hook in there. Addicted on the back. And then my favorite from the drop is this one. Game. You guys love the chrome scales hoodies, so we did this one in a navy blue, red on the front. It's got the same flag on the back. Fourth of July drop is live on the website right now, Addicts. We got a link in the description if you guys want to get some shit. <laughs> anyway, Addicts, 4th of July drop. If you guys want to get some stuff, we greatly, greatly appreciate the support. Now, let's kick off this video. First stop on the day is at the candy aisle. I'm going to dedicate today to trying to catch a limit of fish on nothing less than fishy candy. So one obvious choice, we got to get the Sour Bright flowers. These colors pretty much resemble some, uh, some bait fish. I mean, what else do they look like? Obviously, we have to get the token Swedish fish. I know they make the Sour Troll octopus style, and I think that is really what's gonna do the trick for today. So I'm gonna search around, get us a few different options to use, and take them to the water, and see if we can get this day started off with some candy bites. Now, I've never tried these, but it looks like it should work. The old ropes, they got a nice firm, firm texture to them. They're gonna stay on the hook good. And thank goodness on this episode that we're not gonna have Marlon or Nick pop off with us because I don't think these things would last very long in a boat without these guys eating them because they are the snack and the candy kings. I love me a good snack, but not as much as those guys. So, all right, first stop, four different options, but there is one style of candy that I want more than all, and that is the Sour Troll octopuses. So we're gonna have to make one more stop at the gas station, fuel up, and see if we can find these little octopuses. <laughs> Score exactly what we're looking for. Do we get sharks? I mean, hell, why not? I'm sure they're feeding on baby sharks out there. All right, we are baited up, locked and loaded. Time to hit the water. Yep. Wait, too long, have you? Like 10 minutes, bro. We're just chilling. Perfect. Give us time to get until we get there. Give you a bendo hug. How are you doing, bro? Weather up there. It's raining a lot harder here than there. All right, well, let's put some clothes on. Yeah, get all dressed up. I got lots of candy to use. Yeah. Seriously. I got the I got the octopus, dude. Crap bait. So today, the limit for the rockfish we're going after, seven fish. Seven. And how many link hooks? Two. Two link hooks. All right. Uh, up to 20, it would have to be 24 inches. 22. Right? 22 inches. So there's a lot of options and there's a, there's a potential of us bringing back a pile of meat. So we're going to do some really cool recipes in the afternoon. If you guys haven't got the hint already, we're back with my man, Jared Higginbotham, and he's the captain today. We got Hunter in the boat and some new friends. We got Pops up front and Jared's best friend. And we're going out for a little family time on the big blue. I can't wait. This, is, this, will, this will really be the first time I've gone out just to target bottom fish. We got the crab pots ready, and the idea today is harvest and eat good. So let's get it underway.
about ready to go hammer some bottom fishing. Nothing better than fish tacos on a string. Time to prepare. And let's see your comments. I want to see the vote for what candy is going to bring the most success to catch the most fish. I'm really dead sold on the octopuses and the sharks. I mean, why not? First order of business, we're going to take this and we're going to throw it away. So Jordan is going to use some candy for bait today. I like the idea. I like candy. I'm a big fat and greasy, so I'd like some, I'd like some big greasy fish with some candy. I think I think Jordan's got it. Look at that. He's got an octopus right there. We're gonna catch some big old fish. Have us a greasy fish fry. I'm so pumped about the candy thing. But then again, it's candy. So we'll see if Jordan's idea is right. Okay, let's see our color options here. Oh man, it's a really it's a color choice predicament here we got we got the old root beer red tip and we have the old grateful dead jerry garcia i'm gonna wacky rig to start just to get a feel for it you know oh, well, let's see here we want to make this proper oh no we're gonna flip it we're gonna flip it over we want this thing giving the most natural presentation possible so got out a fish I love it. I love it. Make sure you go in deep. Oh, that's beautiful. Almost weedless. Right there. Alright, get it. This is where you should get them. Okay, bait number one, no bites. Time to make a change. Dude, I had him. No <laughs> I just got bit on the pink and green shark. I will catch the first one on the candy. It is my mission, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep going, shark. It's on the shark! Oh! <laughs> no way. Shark bite, hoo ha ha. Hoo ha ha. Oh, did you switch to the shark? I did. Nice. Little man put in some work. He's got skills. There we go. Not on the candy, but we'll get it. Bucket right there behind you. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. There we go. That one got it. Hunter's on fire. He is El Fuego. El Fuego, the kid's on fire. I had faith in the shark. Got another one. Tacos. Yeah, I gotta switch it up. The Sharknado wasn't working that good for me. Sharknado. The uh, salt water really eats them, really bad. So, sometimes you just gotta figure out what they want. What kind of candy are they after? The worm, the shark, or the octopus? We're about to find out. Is it the steak or is it the sizzle? We must know. Trial number three, the OG worm. I really wanted the octopus to work, but I, I have a lot of confidence in this here. This more so resembles what we actually use out here. And obviously it's tasty and sweet. Come on, Jordan. I have faith in you, little buddy. You're the candy man. Call me Willy Wonka. Candy man. Jigging Jordan in the sea bass factory. Hunter's killing it. Good thing we brought the kid again. He's putting in work. This thing's probably hard in this rod. Yeah, tiny little bass rod. 
That's a good one. Yeah, that's a great one there, buddy. That's a fatty. Look at the eyeballs on that sucker. These things gotta be careful, man. These fins are pokey. They hurt. Oh, little color change. Something. Oh, yeah. the worm. Oh, my beat's tangled. Mayhem. Mayhem. I got it. Mayhem. Mayhem. I'm doing it. I'm going to the hand line. I'm going to the hand line. We're getting stuff done. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, I got it, Cabby. The first candy fish of the day. It happened. Wow. Okay. Nope. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, but I'll take it. Super cool looking fish. Now you can't keep these things. Is it, what is this? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But we're going to let this guy go. Not the desired species, but nonetheless, it worked. Just got to figure out what color they like. Presentation and color. Targeted species on candy worm. There it is. That's, that's dinner on the table right there. And sugar for your teeth. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Easy there, pup. The big well, fella! Rock bass. Candy in the mouth. There it is. Proof in the pudding. No. No. Straight candy. Pure as candy fisher. Uh-uh. I don't mind. So Big Josh is a pure can purest candy fisherman. He's not going to uh, deviate from the tactic nor ruin his grassroots candy fisherman heritage. Boom! Oh, Takes a minute to figure out the color, but once you got it, then it's on. You know, this is only my first time fishing with the candy, but I'd like to think of myself as a quick learner and observant. So, once we hit the color, I'm not bashful to try whatever, and I'll stick with it. And there's a the proof. The great thing about these, unlike your regular rubber worms, right. if you want to make it a little shorter. My dad always told me you bite the end of it off. It makes it shorter. These, you bite the end of it off, you get a little snack, you get a fishing bait at the same time. It's a big change and a treat. You know, I know the next bait that's going in my tackle box. <laughs> right, everybody reel them up for just a second. I'm going to scoot us right in this little corner right here, and we should mop up on them with this tide like that. We should be able to get right up in here in this rip, this little colored water, and dude, it should be donk time. Yes, Tango! Oh. Oh. He came off right at the bank. Right in my, in my theory, I was not wiggling my worm right. I completely changed my presentation. Got one first cast. Here we go. Hunter zone. Oh, not gonna miss. A little bit better. Very. Oh. Hey. Oh. oh my oh. god. No Dude, way. He followed it all the way in, didn't he? He did. Did you see him? No. No, but he bit it twice. God.
take a lot of drag. Another link card. That one's close. Yeah. Drop him back. Come on, Mr. Ling. Yeah. Those phone lines, bro, they stay in those. There we go. Woo. Finally. I had to go back against my roots. <laughs> I left it to the purest in the boat. And what do you know, it got me the first fish. One fish taco coming up. I prefer to stick with what I know. I am not pressured. I will not feel the peer pressure of going to the traditional rubber worms, jigs, whatever. I've had total success with the gummy worm candy. It's color and presentation is all you're looking for. And once you dial that in, it's money. There's none better. This is a big fix. That's what I'm talking candy. about. That's why I stick with the candy because I know it works. I told you before oh, it was. Oh my God. Close, dude. Swing cod. That's a keeper. I bet it's a keeper. Uh, right yeah, there. he's good. One candy. Oh, there you on. go. One artificial. That's on. <laughs> yeah, big one. Double, double. Lingcod of the day. Can't complain about it. Not quite the size we need, but we're allowed to swim. That's a good fish there. Oh, oh doubles, doubles, Jordan's hook. Yeah, we got weight. That's weight. <laughs> as fast as you can get them down, we're bringing them right back up. <laughs> Beauty. Well, we got fishy. Now it's time to get crabby. Come with it. Come on. Uh, Come with it. Oh, Dad. <laughs> oh, baby. measure these from here to here. So this one's good. Just barely. Good? No. Nope. Nope. In another light, two lights.
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, how's that feel to be a giant, Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody, there is truly no better way to end a good day of fishing than sharing a feast with the family. If you guys want to see more fun videos just like you saw here today, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down, hit subscribe, turn those bells on. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below, and you can be the comment of the day just like this guy right here. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.